What is up, gang? Your presidential trio is back, and this time around, we are going to be ranking our favorite set of alcoholic beverages. And you all already know that your main man, Joe, has you all set and ready for the best type of brews to get you messed up. Joe, I swear to God, if you try convincing that Everclear is somehow an S-tier alcoholic drink, I might have to publicly execute you. I can't do that, Donald. Even I have my limits. Especially after that dark night in 1978, I can't talk about the atrocities I committed, nor can I discuss who and what groups of people were affected by the heinous acts I did. But I can let you know one thing. It all started with the idea of, hey guys, wouldn't it be funny if we did shots of Everclear to get messed up fast as hell? And next thing you know, I wake up in a hotel room with mysterious red stains that I cannot disclose and a bunch of what many could assume to be human heads in the hotel freezer. But uh, I had nothing to do with the Ted Bundy murders. And I am more than glad we got that psycho in jail. And now he is where Epstein is. Jesus Christ, Joe. What's that one Tame Impala song? Uh, oh yeah. The less I know, the better. Yeah, let's just apply that to this list. And please, for the love of God, don't do any more ever clear shots. Uh, I won't do any more ever clear shots starting now, but anything before that, just know that I was not liable. And that, uh, I in no way have any connections or ties to Epstein or the murders Jeffrey Dahmer committed. Ahem. Anyways, let's get this fun list started. Up first, we got hard seltzers, and I personally am a fan of White Claws or Trulies. Don't forget about Topo Chico's, because those freaking bang, and I'd argue that they are the best hard seltzers. That is a great point, Donald, but all in all, I think I am going to place hard seltzers in B tier. Like, I don't really get these drinks, because if you want to get drunk drinking very horrible tasting alcohol, then you might as well drink beer which is better in my opinion. But I guess if you're a sparkling water fanatic, then I guess your butt flutters at the mention of a hard seltzer. But anyways, let's move on to our next entry, which is rum. And the Joe Dog very much, so enjoys some rum chata. I think for that alone, I have to place it into A tier. It is simply delicious, and I don't need to hear anything other than rum chata in order to place rum this high. So you're literally just placing rum this high because you're that big of a fan of rum chata. There is no other reason aside from your huge personal bias. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. That's exactly what I said. Why do you ask some dumb fucking questions sometimes, man? Anyways, before Barack pisses me off more, let me talk about bourbon. And I love bourbon chicken, but that is not at all similar to the beverage. And I have to say, I am a fan of bourbon. Put it on the rocks, and I will probably have some of the best sleep of my life after drinking it. It's not something you will bring to a party, but it is a refined drink that I will have while lounging on my recliner and maybe watching some Breaking Bad before going night-night. I will have to give it an A tier for those reasons alone. I can't even lie, Joe. For once in your life, you said some real shit. That lounging in the recliner with some bourbon while Breaking Bad plays. Man, that sounds like a vibe. Maybe some fireplace going on in the background so you can hear the crackling of the fire while you see Walter say he is the one who knocks. I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. It's quite the experience, I cannot even lie to you. Now up next we got craft beers and you may be asking yourself, hey Joe, what the heck is a craft beer and why is it different from a canned beer? Well, let me tell you the difference. Craft beer is beer that has been made by craft breweries. They produce smaller amounts of beer, usually less than large breweries and are often independently owned. So if you want to help out the little guy, I suggest you try your locally owned beer brands but I also won't hate if you get the usual Bush, Modelo, or Miller brands of beer. I still have craft beer going into S tier because they experiment more and usually have the cooler and funkier flavors slash brewing methods. That is an actual good take from you, Joe. Uh, why are you taking this list so seriously? Because I want what is best for our dear subscribers and that is whatever will mess them up the fastest or whatever tastes the best to them. Some of them want a weekend drink to forget that the weekend even happened and some just want something smooth and nice to relax and take a load off. And trust me, I am the expert at taking loads uh, off. Yeah, uh, anyways, let me move on with the list. And after that, we got gin. And I have this going into C tier. I am sorry for the gin lovers, but I don't really drink it that much. And it's not really something I feel like people go out of their way for. Like, when have you guys ever heard someone go and say, man, I am craving some gin right now. Can we go buy some at the store? Like, no, those combination of words have not been strung along, but maybe I'm hating too hard. I do think it is somewhat solid, but of course not what I would prefer. Hard hating on gin here, only to give it a C tier. I thought you'd give it a D with all that hating. 
He must be reserving D tier for something truly awful if he's willing to absolutely trash gin for that long, but still give it a C tier. Guys, can we not talk about it yet? I shudder at the thought of it, but let's instead move on with the list. And up next, we got red wine. Now with Thanksgiving coming up, I have to place red wine into A tier. Having this paired up with some greasy or fatty food during Thanksgiving is some of the best shit I will ever experience in my life. They also say that it helps aid with digestion, and even if it doesn't, you will catch the Joe dog getting tipsy off the Thanksgiving wine. Is that when you start sniffing all the girls in your family, Joe? Don't be weird, man. This is my family we are talking about. And anyways, I do the sniffing before as well. So your point is moot. But anyways, after that, we got some vodka and let me hear my vodka haters loud and proud. Okay, good now that you all outed yourselves. I want you all to take a long look in the mirror and realize that you're wrong. A good vodka is extremely smooth, and honestly, I compare it to tequila at times because when you have a good version of either, you know you're going to have a good time. I am happily placing this magical elixir into S tier. I will use vodka to mix drinks or just take straight up shots of it if I want to. The vodka take is a good one, but how the hell is it similar to tequila? Well, uh, I just like taking shots of them both. So I guess it's the same to me. It's kind of like our next entry, which is white wine. It is similar to red wine, but it isn't at the same time, but I still have it going into A tier, despite the fact. Now let's talk about something that is also similar to another thing on our list, and that is whiskey. It is essentially very close to bourbon, but ultimately there are some differences, and that mainly comes in the form of flavor. I am a huge whiskey guy, and I will be placing this into S tier. Give me some Jameson whiskey, and I guarantee it is wraps. Whiskey is a bona fide S tier. I am glad you have some semblance of a brain, Joe. I can't even lie, when you volunteered and kept begging us to do this, I really had my doubts, but you keep proving me wrong. Okay, yes, we get it. You thought I was gonna be a little jokester, but I take this seriously, man. Getting drunk is one of the many things I do better than being a president. That along with many other things. You wish, buddy. Anyways, up next, we got some cider, and I really have no strong opinions on this. It's a solid B tier, in my opinion, but moving past that, we got tequila. And oh boy, I'm a huge fan of this stuff. Like, I actually don't understand tequila haters. Like, all I hear is, oh man, I get super messed up on tequila. It's dangerous. Like, what the hell? Stop being a pussy and just drink and handle it. See me personally, I will always be an advocate for this S-tier drink and will forever love it. I don't even need a lime with my shit or a chaser of any kind because the Joe Dog is a freaking unit of pure alcoholic power. You've all seen Hunter run amok. Where do you all think he got it from? You know what, a lot is starting to come together when it comes to your family dynamic or just however Hunter acts. I just think it's all clicking now. Yeah, he gets it from his old man, but my crack days are over. And now here come the beer days. And speaking of which, we got good old canned beer and I myself am a bush man, but not just any kind because I need me some peach flavored bush specifically. I will do a handstand twerk off the wall if you give me enough bush beers and I will have some crazy motion back there because old Joe got some junk in the trunk, if you know what I mean. See, I want to believe you, but I just know that Donald has some crazy bunda in his trunk. Do not sexualize me, Barack. I will compete for him bunda for bunda with him and will win out if you see my motion. After all that, we got commotion, we got brandy up next, and I am a mild fan of brandy, but I still believe it to be better than gin. I think I will give it a solid B tier, but up next we got an elixir of magic, and that is mead. Now this is some ancient tribal stuff like things the Vikings used to drink. And the longer you ferment this wonderful thing, the more the alcohol content is. And I have had some delicious mead that was made at home and I swear one glass will mess you up and the flavor was absolutely divine. I will have to give this an S tier. You've been watching people make mead on TikTok, haven't you, Joe? I may or may not have dabbled in some mead making TikToks, but that is neither here nor there. However, I would recommend people to look up mead making YouTube videos because it is super interesting. It's like watching Guga Foods make some yummy steaks. But anyways, let's finish the list because we are basically at the finish line. And up last, we got Everclear. Man, oh man, this is going to be a D tier for me. I cannot handle Everclear and it tastes like garbage. Have any of you ever had shots of Everclear? I would not recommend it because it absolutely burns and should only be used as a mixer. And even when you do use it like that, the drinks end up tasting awful too. I'm not a fan of this and we'll place it into D tier. Jesus, Joe, you have something against Everclear, don't you? Next, you'll be saying that one night you blacked out on Everclear shots and started a national war crime. What? I was in no way involved with the attacks during 9-11. Never accuse me of that or the Boston Marathon incident. Uh, what the hell? Uh, Joe, he didn't mention either of those things. 
Do you have something you want to tell us? I've said too much. Oh, crap. I'm going to end up like Epstein, aren't I? Uh, this was all satire. Let's uh, cut the video. What is going on, everyone? And we are back with another presidential tier list. But this time around, we are going to be talking about me and Donald's favorite thing, and that is some milky, milky, num num goodness. For once, Joe, I have to say that you are indeed spitting because the Don is known to be a prolific milkman. If I see some good milk, I have to admire it for at least a couple of minutes. We're talking about the drink, right? Like this tier list is purely based on the milk drink. I, for one, am not talking about the drink unless we count that last picture in this tier list. God, I hope that picture doesn't get us demonetized. I personally am speaking on behalf of all milk drink or not, and that last picture certainly intrigues the old Joe dog. I already know what I'm rating that masterpiece, but right now we have to rate the current milk, and that is good old 2% milk. Now, I don't hate this, actually. While I do prefer actual full fatty milk because it actually tastes better, and I am not a calorie-challenged human like Donald. However, I will give it some credit because it is still passable as a milk, and so is 1% milk. These both merit a C tier from me because I don't think there's some sort of abomination, and I don't have some sort of aversion for it based on the flavor as well. It still tastes all right with cereal or some milk and cookies. When the hell did your sleepy ass start using words like aversion and abomination? Did you study up on the thesaurus before coming into today's video, Joe? See the fact that you think that words like aversion and abomination are quote unquote big words. That actually makes me worry more for your brain rather than your already clogged up arteries. Shut the hell up, Joe. You hear me mess up the meaning of avant-garde once and you think you're some sort of brainiac now. My bad, I didn't know we had Aristotle in the building, except instead of being a philosopher, you instead chose to be something else that starts with the letter P. A Peter Gazer? Because I will admit that I just can't help to be curious. Like, if you're peeing next to me in the urinal, you can't expect me to not gaze at your Peter. Like, honestly, if you stand next to me, you're basically asking for it. You're basically spread eagle, begging me to just do it. Jesus Christ, no, Joe. I was just gonna call you a pedophile and make jokes about you sniffing kids. This is so gross, Joe, and is that why you always stand next to me when we pee in the urinals? I can neither confirm nor deny that fact. Oh, but I can definitely confirm it. I literally saw you peeping on me when I went to go pee last time. I had to see and confirm if the BBC was really all that it was cracked up to be. And uh, by that, I mean I had to confirm that the, the British Broadcasting Corporation really had the correct height description for Barack. I did it only for that reason. Oh, uh, let's uh, get back into the video. I think that would be for the best. So up next, we got some banana milk. And let me be the first to tell you that this stuff ain't half bad. Now, I am a fan of bananas, and I'm a fan of banana-flavored Nesquik. So it should not surprise anyone when they hear me say that this is a solid B tier. Matter of fact, I got a fun fact for everyone regarding bananas. Oh, God. No, I swear this is a good fun fact, but anyways, did you all know that artificial banana flavoring tastes more like actual bananas than real bananas? Now, what I mean by that is artificial banana flavoring tastes more like Gros Michel bananas with a brighter and fuller flavor than the Cavendish banana we are most familiar with. The reason why we don't have the old flavoring is because of a fungus that wiped out most of the old yummy tasting bananas, so we genetically engineered the modern day banana to combat that. So the banana we taste now isn't the bananas people had back then. That was actually a pretty cool fun fact, Joe. Thanks, I pride myself in my fun facts. Anyways, up next we got two substitutes for milk, and that is almond milk and coconut milk, and quite honestly, the Joe dog really likes these two a lot. Like, I think an A tier is warranted for them both, and let me explain why. They're just good, I don't know what else to say. Like, unless you're allergic to nuts, then I can understand why you wouldn't want almond milk, but then there's coconut milk to drink. And yes, I understand that this in no way will replace dairy milk for some people. But if you understand it and appreciate it for what it is, I'm sure you'd enjoy it more that way. Sometimes I just drink a glass of coconut milk by itself because it's just that good and flavored almond milk is literally the best. Some chocolate almond milk tastes almost exactly like normal chocolate milk, but with less fat and more protein. Just make sure you get one with low amounts of sugar. Look at Joe here appeasing all the vegan subscribers with his almond milk is good take. I know damn well your sleepy ass is drinking cow milk. I do drink cow milk, but whenever I go to Barry's, he always has almond or coconut milk. Barack, is this fucking true? Yeah. It's not my fault, though. Michelle won't let us get anything that isn't soy, coconut, almond, or skim milk. 
So I just have flavored almond milk throughout the house, and Joe has the audacity to ask for juice every time he's here, knowing damn well that all we have is homemade prune juice, and when he drinks too much of that and gets the shits, he then has the audacity to ask me to bring him a glass of almond chocolate milk for when he goes to the bathroom. I must have misheard. Do you mean for when he comes out of the bathroom? The fucked up part is that I wish I meant it that way, Donald. He makes me bring him a glass before he goes in to do his business. A glass of chocolate almond milk while blowing up a friend's toilet is one of the best things you can have in life. I am sorry you two have yet to experience that, but it's more of a if you know, if you know type of situation. Anyways, we actually have one of the best things you can have in life, and that is some chocolate milk. And you all already know that I have this going into S tier. Who the hell doesn't like some chocolate milk? Like, this is a goddamn staple, and I refuse to hear anyone out if they think it should be placed lower. I will literally orgasm if you bring me some chocolate Nesquik. I remember I once chugged so many that I literally puked all over my car. But then again, I probably shouldn't have had six of them in a row on a hot summer day. Why the hell were you drinking that many on a hot summer day? Like, why would you ever subject yourself to that? Same reason why I edge for over an hour. I just like having too much of a good thing. After that, we got some goat milk and... Uh, I don't really have strong opinions on it. Like, I have had it once and I remember it being okay. Like, I think I only thought it was weird because I knew it was goat milk. I'll give it a C tier because I honestly don't think it was that awful. What is truly awful is that dry milk powder because that shit belongs in the garbage. It belongs in D tier. And I have no bad feelings about putting it there. Then I may as well talk about the next two because I think that's lamb milk and cow milk, but straight from the teat. I'm giving both a C tier because I have never had lamb milk, but I can imagine that it's not worse than dry milk powder. And some fresh milk from a cow's teat is the freshest milk you can have. Just make sure you boil it a bit, or I've even heard people say they put some alcohol in it to clean out the bacteria. I don't know about that, but it tastes pretty all right. I would not go out of my way for it, though. What's your hate with dry milk powder? What if someone can't have normal milk because they're lactose? And that's the closest thing they can have to normal milk. With all due respect, this is how I can tell you're a freaking nincompoop barack. Dry milk powder does in fact have dairy slash lactose, so it isn't for those who are intolerant of lactose. God, you're such an idiot. You have room temperature IQ, yet you have the utter gall to try to tell me how to rank things. I'm honestly ashamed of you, but not as ashamed as those who like skim milk because this watered down milk tastes awful and belongs in D tier as well. Rare W from Joe here because I freaking hate skim milk and I almost thought you were gonna rate this high because you were sucking off almond and coconut milk and you rate one and 2% milk a C tier. See, I actually like those and never disrespect almond or coconut milk in front of me again. But back to the skim milk. I just think it's doing too much and crosses the line when it has absolutely no fat. It gets rid of all the flavor and makes it taste bad. Then I have soy milk going into B tier because it is also good, but kind of has an odd flavor to it that I can't describe. But hey, I still somewhat enjoy it despite it tasting a bit off. What doesn't taste bad is our next entry, which is strawberry milk, which immediately goes into S tier. I love me some strawberry milky and I can drink that like water. See, while I'm pooping, I drink my chocolate milk, but when I'm pissing, I do the strawberry one instead. There's layers to this. Gross, disgusting layers that we really should not learn about you, to be honest. Like, I feel like a certain point there has to be a thought in your mind that says, maybe I shouldn't share this information with the public. Nah, I want my Joe heads to get more Joe lore, and it would be a disservice to not feed them that info. They need all the lore they can get. But enough of that, because we are nearing the Ned of our list. And you all already know I want to talk about our last entry in great detail. Dear God. Nah, nah, I feel him on that one. Thank you, Donald. But anyways, after that, we got normal full of fat milk, and this is going into S tier. This is the best type of milk to have, and I love me some red cap milk. No surprise there, but what I have questions on is what the hell that next milk is. Like the image is cut off and it isn't labeled, so I have no clue what it is. For all sakes and purposes, I will just say that this is evaporated milk or condensed milk. And this stuff is amazing for treats and desserts. So you know, you gotta have some handy if you got a sweet tooth and know how to bake. I am giving that a B tier because you can't really have it by itself. Well, I mean, you can, but it is not advised. Then after we got some steamed milk, and with steamed milk, it is a lot heavier than frothed milk, which is why baristas typically use it as a milky layer on top of your coffee. So for that fun tidbit of knowledge, I will give it a B tier as well. 
I like having it in my coffee whenever I do drink some. I'm actually amazed with the amount of milk facts that you know. You were actually the most qualified for this list. Of course I was. I am the great Joe Dog, and enough of these other milks. Let's talk about the mother of all milks. Pun intended, by the way, but now we got some, uh, O-E, breast milk. Mommy Milky Num Num, so good. Um, but yes, the flavor with this is, uh, well, uh, the answer is that the exact flavor of breast milk varies from person to person and from day to day. It's affected by factors like what you eat and how fresh it is. In general, many people say that it tastes like skim cow's milk. So if you have it in a bottle, it's a D tier. But if you have it the way God intended and you suckle a woman's teat, then it's an absolute S tier and I will have it there. I also think some men can breastfeed, and I have to say that if I had breast milk from a man, well, uh, I'd still give it an S tier. You dirty, dirty dog, Joe. All right, that's enough before we get demonetized. How about you demonetize these nuts, Barack? But on another note, I have a serious question. What if men had to breastfeed babies with their cock? What is up, gang? We are back with another tier list, and this time around, we got a Hawaiian punch tier list, and let me tell you all right now that this is the definitive tier list because we have no one else other than the Don making this list. Now, I am a connoisseur of the finer things in life, so you bet I have had every single flavor of Hawaiian punch on this list, and I will be able to give the most accurate rating for every single one. Watch him rate nothing lower than a C, because, of course, Donald would love this sugar-infested drink. Ha! That's how I know your knowledge on this magnificent drink is almost as outdated as you, Joe. Since you've been hitting us with fun facts, let me hit you with one about Hawaiian punch. It actually does not have much sugar, and for every serving, which is about eight ounces, there are only 11 grams of sugar, so it is actually not that sugary. Donald, I really hate to be the one that burst your bubble, but uh, the American Heart Association's recommendation for sugar intake is that men should consume no more than 36 grams of added sugar per day. For women, the number is lower at around 25 grams per day. So if you think about it, one serving of this drink is around 30% of our daily sugar intake. That is one third of our daily sugars from one cup of your juice. And I can't even imagine what else you eat or drink because your bloodstream must be more sugar than blood. Joke's on you, I already knew that fact and I only drink Diet Coke aside from the occasional punch I have here and there. You know, Barack, not everyone goes all in on the things they do. I, for one, have self-control and do not go over my daily sugars, I uh, think. Either way, only losers count that, and I am only a winner, but who cares about some nerd stats? And let's get started with this list. Up first, we got the classic Fruit Juicy Red, and before you guys try to grill me in the comments, it is actually called Fruit Juicy Red. I don't know why they didn't just call it Juicy Red Fruit or even Red Juicy Fruit, but hey, I am not in charge of their marketing. Nonetheless, we all know where this classic flavor goes, and it is an immediate S tier. This shit slaps harder than an abusive husband with a couple of brewskis in his system after his wife refused to grab him the TV remote. The light version is still okay, but that's a C tier. It is not as good in the Don's opinion. All that red 40 going in my bloodstream. Yummy, yummy, I actually think I can become superhuman if I consume all the colors. Red 40, blue one, yellow five, green three, and whatever the hell else they got. I will consume them all and become the ultimate being Joe, I don't know about that, but I'm sure it'll have the inside of your stomach looking like a goddamn rave festival with all the colors. After that, we got Berry Blue Typhoon, and this is another goddamn banger. This is another S tier in my book. Like, I don't know how you could possibly hate blue colored things. Make any drink blue, and I think it'll just taste better. It might be the blue one Joe was talking about, but this is a masterpiece of a flavor and honestly might top the red one for me, but let me not go too crazy. Nah, I think you were spitting there for a bit because I honestly prefer the blue flavored one to the red one. But then again, Michelle only lets me have the sugar-free one, so I can't really judge that well. Sugar-free sounds so un-American, but hey, chalk my shit up full of aspartame or sucralose, and I honestly won't care. Cancer this blah, blah, blah. Listen, all I know is that it makes my drink taste delicious and it has no sugar. That's a life hack, and I don't care about the medical downsides. Anyways, up next, we got Berry Limeade Blast, and this is our first A tier. Don't get me wrong, I love the inclusion of the lime, but I rather have the original red flavor because that's like the OG. It is nice to have around and use whenever you want to switch up flavors, though. What isn't that good is our next entry, which is Berry Bonkers, 
And this looks like black sludge, but it tastes actually not that bad. I still would rather have everything above except for the light drink, but I'll give it a solid B tier. It really isn't that good, though, but if there's no other flavor, then I'll drink it. Now, you're very bonkers for placing it that low, Donald. God, shut the hell up, Joe. Do not make those puns. After that somewhat bad one, we got its cousin with Green Berry Rush. But unlike Berry Bonkers, Green Berry Rush actually tastes pretty good in comparison. Like, it's worth an A tier, in my opinion. And it almost had me debating putting it into S tier. But I have too many good things going up there that I just could not put it there. It was a good contender, but I think A tier is a perfect spot for it. Not too high and definitely not too low. You're really getting analytical with these takes. Do you really care about the placements of these drinks that much, Donald? Of course I do. I take all my lists very seriously, and even more so if I am grading the nectar of the gods. Don't try to distract me, Barry, because I am on a roll right now. And then up next, we got some good old lemonberry squeeze up next. This is honestly another A tier for me because this flavor has the nice addition of lemon with all the berries, but once again, it just doesn't quite reach the zenith that the other flavors above it do. Do you like that, guys? Yeah, I'm a pretty smart guy for using the word zenith, I know. You know what? The Joe Dog likes the verbiage you just used. Zenith would indeed be applicable for those items on top. No shit, Joe. That's why I used that word. I told you that the avant-garde incident was a one-time thing. Speaking of one-time things, I got Lemon Lime and Lemonade Hawaiian Punch going into B tier. Like, it isn't bad, but these two are just too citrusy for my liking. I'll have a couple of cups of this, and my face will contort more than Joe's when thinking of what to say during live TV. Wait a minute. You just said earlier that you don't drink more than a cup because it would exceed your daily limit for sugars. Barry, why are you such a snitch, bro? And I obviously only do that during my cheat days. That must be every day, then, for this round mound of a man. Shut the hell up, Sleepy Joe. I do not want to hear any snide remarks from the man who is a professional kitty sniffer. Anyways, after that, we got yet another S tier, and that, of course, is Mango Monsoon. I am pretty sure if you make anything mango-flavored, it will just automatically slap. Like, I legitimately think it's a cheat code when it comes to artificial flavors. Then, uh, damn, we got back-to-back -back S tier ratings because I got Whitewater Wave also going into S tier. You know how I mentioned that anything mango-flavored tastes amazing? Well, the same can be said about anything white-colored, like you got the Glacier Frost Gatorade or whatever it's called, tasting absolutely amazing. And then now you have this. I actually uh, don't know if there are any other white-colored drinks, but fuck it. I'm still going to say that my statement holds true. Would you count clear-colored things with flavor a part of that category? Well, that would make no sense at all, but sure. So like stuff like Clear Pepsi and actually didn't older Gatorades have a clear flavor? I swear, remembering that to be a thing, Joe, you're full of fun facts. Is this an actual thing? Well, if you're asking me if I remember, buddy, you're asking the wrong person. Of course, as always, you do not come through when we need you most. But watch out if you misuse a fucking word, because then you'll have Joe down your throat. Figuratively and hopefully physically as well. You are so gross, Joe, but let's keep going with the list, because we're nearing the end of the list. Up next, we got Orange Ocean, and let me tell you all right here that this is not really that good. I give it a solid B tier, but most of the time, orange-flavored things miss unless it's pure orange juice. Oh, that and Sunny D, actually. So those two things are primarily the only two things that are orange-flavored that I actually really enjoy. Did you know that Rice Energy has a Sunny D flavor, Donald? You might actually enjoy that, because it tastes amazing. Shit, actually. I might have to order some, and we'll probably do a tier list on that then. Following that, we got another S tier in the Polar Blast flavor. And once again, if it is blue, then the Don will probably like it nine times out of 10. What was the one time you didn't like it? Okay, I can't recall that, but Joey people just say that to signify that they like something a lot. Stop being a smart ass. Wait, I can actually remember the one time I didn't like it, and it was when you were talking about boiling hot dogs in Gatorade water. When the hell did I say that? That sounds very un -Joe like Frail, roll the clip. Going straight into S tier. I honestly think I'm just a fan of blue products. I get blue ices. I get blue Gatorade, and I get blue Kool-Aid. I'm a blue sort of guy. I freaking love the flavor blue. I think I'll eat or drink anything that's blue. Whoa, whoa, hold on, Joe. What the hell is the flavor blue? Also, what can you possibly be eating that is blue? Like, seriously, honest to God, I cannot think of a food that comes in the natural color of blue. Well, I sometimes boil my hot dogs in blue Gatorade, and it gives them this yummy tinge of blue that you can see and taste. That is so freaking gross, man. Oh, that, uh, well, what can I say? If I said it, then it must indeed bang. You are so fucking gross, man. Anyways, following that disgusting stuff, we return to some mid, 
And I know, Barack, you might find this controversial, but uh, I have the watermelon flavor of Hawaiian punch going into B tier. Please don't be so angry. I really don't care. As a matter of fact, I uh, actually kind of agree with you. Barack, please calm down. Don't yell at me, please. I will never disrespect you ever again. I'll stick to berating the illegals instead. Okay, I said that in a pretty calm manner, and uh, I don't know if that's the right thing to say in this situation. You're right. I just got to live with the fact that I'm pissing you off with that rating. And you know what? I feel better standing on business and not backing down to you. Watermelon Hawaiian Punch will stay a B tier no matter what you say, Barack. God, Donald, you can be just as stupid as Joe sometimes. Actually, you can be as dumb as him a lot of the times, but we don't call you out on it nearly as much. The fuck did I do to merit that stray? Joe, do we need to roll that clip of the hot dog boiling in blue Gatorade again? God, sometimes just seeing you pisses me off. I want to, like, pop your head like a pimple. Mama did always say that people are going to hate on my success. She always used to tell me they hate us because they ain't us. Pretty sure you just ripped that entire saying from the movie, the interview, like that was the biggest joke of that whole movie. Yeah, you caught me. Boy, howdy, I freaking love that movie. It was okay. I may need to rewatch it, though. But we're on the very last item, and that is Citrus Splash. And uh, I don't know why there's two, but we'll only rate one. And as I said previously with orange-flavored things, I uh, just don't really like them that much. I am giving this a B tier, but I will say it tastes slightly better than Orange Ocean. Well, now that we're done with this list, I noticed another thing. What is that, Joe? That this fat ass didn't rate anything lower than a C, and the one and only thing he did put into C tier was the diet version of one of the higher rated flavors. Yeah, you actually have a point, Joe. Donald, you need to cut back on the sugar. I'm telling you that my sugar levels are fine. I bet vampires would love the hell out of your blood. They'd probably use it as a honey substitute for their pancakes. I can only imagine what they use your semen for. What? What is going on, gang? We are back with another tier list, and this time around we are doing a Nesquik slash milkshake tier list, but obviously with ones you can buy in store. Now, I am a milk expert, and since you all also must know, I am the Nesquik expert because I can chug these bad boys faster than anyone else in the world. I have yet to hear of a man who can chug as many Nesquiks as I can under the heat of 110 degree weather in a car with absolutely no ventilation. Why the hell would anyone subject themselves to that? The only thing I'd leave in a car with 110 degree weather is a baby or a dog. Okay, that is not the right thing to say at all. I'm sure what you meant to say was that you wouldn't leave any living creature in your car with no AC in extremely hot weather. No, I really meant what I said. I said it proudly with my chest. See, I like to stay in the car by myself because it then becomes my own personal sauna. Sometimes I pass out, but that's when I power up and chug some delicious Nesquik. And oh boy, let me tell you that being in the car makes it all warm and yummy, but that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get the tier list started because that's the big thing here. And up first, we got the protein versions of the strawberry and chocolate Nesquik. Now, I personally don't work out, so I do not care for these protein-filled drinks. I never understood why people stress about protein when I know a simple life hack that will get you tons of protein. Joe, what the hell is your life hack? I need to know to keep cultivating mass because these protein Nesquiks are good, but I usually drink Fairlife or Muscle Milk. Well, I'm going to ask you later to close your eyes and rub this hose. And in a couple of minutes, some weird tasting goo will come out. And I promise you that it will have tons of protein and you will get shredded. Oh, shit, bet. I cannot wait to get that. But you got to tell me the recipe for your protein drink one day. We can just call it Papa Joe's special sauce for now. Donald, please, for the love of God, don't do what he's telling you to do. Now, Barack, he is a grown man who can come to his own decisions because Lord knows I'll be coming to uh, making my own decision. I will be coming to my own decisions on these drinks. And I think that the strawberry Nesquik protein is a D tier because strawberry protein is just not it. It tastes absolutely abhorrent. And this gutter slug of a drink has no redeeming qualities, like say what you will about pedophiles. But at least they drive slowly past schools, and that is one redeeming about them, while protein strawberry Nesquik has none. And the chocolate protein flavor will go into C tier because that one is actually kind of yummy. I can actually withstand the awful taste of chocolate protein and sometimes think it's not half bad. Anyways, after that, we got a bit of a pickle because, as you all can tell, there are two purple labeled Nesquik flavors, and I have them. But the thing is that the flavors online either show it being called fudge brownie or double chocolate. And I think that they are the same thing. But the thing is, I cannot remember which one I had for the life of me. So I cannot verify if they do taste the same. But Google shows me mixed results. So I will grade them the same. Go figures that you can't remember what the flavor is, Joe. 
Your sleepy ass can barely remember what day it is. Yeah, Joe, you really need to fix that problem of yours. It's not a problem. It is simply a mix-up, and it is not a big deal. And me getting names wrong and not remembering things is not a sign of future or current health problems that I have. Either way, that has very little to do with the list, and I will be rating both the double chocolate and brownie fudge flavor a B tier. I swear that they are the same thing, but I am going to need some help from the comment section on it, but I felt as though it was too much chocolate. Like this was extreme cacao for my liking, but it still is not half bad. After that, we got the tried and true chocolate flavor, and this is like in the hall of fame for chocolate flavored drinks. So you all know this is an easy S tier, and I don't even have to think about it. I absolutely am in love with this flavor and can drink it like it's water. As a matter of fact, I think I've gone a couple of days drinking just Nesquik instead of anything else. Sure, my piss might have been darker than cheddar cheese, but let me tell you that I absolutely loved crushing these bad boys every other hour. I don't care how much you need to strengthen your bones, Joe, because of your frail, weak body. Drinking anything more than three of these a day is not right at all, and you should probably be institutionalized. I personally actually respect the level of dedication it takes to drink that much milk in one day. It's gross, but I can't help but cheer him on. It's like watching Joey Chestnut crush a bunch of hot dogs. Like you're absolutely repulsed by the mere sight of him dipping his dogs in water or Gatorade and then just shoving the mush down his mouth with no beauty at all. It's like pouring slop on a plate and watching a pig just go buck wild. Well, I personally think that dipping your hot dogs in Gatorade water is delicious and totally see the appeal to it, but uh, thanks, Donald. I'm glad you respect me. I respect your dedication to how much of a filthy, vile human being you are. I don't really respect you as a person at all still. Well, a dub is still a dub, so I am going to take the road less traveled and not go at you. I know y'all like that Robert Frost reference. Yeah, I'm a bit of a poet, and I didn't even know it. I actually hate you so much right now, Joe. Please, for the love of God, just continue on with the list instead of doing this bit. Fine, but I won't be happy about it. Anyways, up next, we got a cinnamon toast crunch shake, and this isn't Nesquik, but it is still a Nestle product, so I do not care. The Nestle Cinnamon Toast Crunch drink, which is also called Cinnamilk, is a freaking bop. I have to place this into S tier. It tastes amazing, and just like the milk you have after having some Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and I'm so happy that someone decided to make a drink after that because it has to be the best part of eating Cinnamon Toast Crunch. That's some fat boy shit right there, Joe, and I respect that, but I have to disagree. I still prefer the crunch of the cereal alongside the milk more than the end where I drink the cinnamon and sugar mix. Don't get me wrong, thought it is amazing, but it's not the best part of it. It's more like eating a nice dessert after demolishing a nice Wagyu steak. Ain't no way you just compared Cinnamon Toast Crunch to Wagyu steak. I refuse to believe I just heard that. I think we will agree to disagree, Donald, because it's the inverse for me. I eat all the delicious cereal so I can reach the milk, which has then become the nectar of the gods because of all the cinnamon and sugar. But yeah, point is that this drink is a bop and you all need to try this. Then after we got the strawberry banana flavored Nesquik, and this is pretty good. Once again, the Joe Dog has to reiterate that he is a fan of artificially flavored banana, so it should be no surprise when I place the strawberry banana into A tier. It's a good one to have in case you're getting tired of the other flavors. Joe, I promise you that people are not having so many of these that they, quote, get tired of the other flavors. Hop off the Jock Barack. You're writing me harder than Angela White ever could. Hey, ho! Thanks, Donald. But anyways, aside from Barack constant need to try to correct me, we then got another pretty good flavor. And that, of course, is vanilla. Now, some people don't like vanilla because it's too basic, but I am not one of those people. I personally really like the flavor of vanilla. And once again, would love one of these if they were available. Dare I say, I would twerk for one of these, but I would not handstand twerk for this, which will then place the vanilla Nesquik into A tier alongside the banana strawberry. Good decision there, Joe. Now, normally I am a part of the white is right movement, but not for this case. I like the placing you got for it. Thanks, Donnie T. We're just gonna overlook his comment just now. What that he agrees with me. Man, you don't know what you want, Barack. You tell us to get along, and when we finally do, you decide to just talk shit constantly. Everything okay at home with you and Michelle, man? I'd rather not talk about that. Can uh, we just go on with the list? You must not be allowed to drink Nesquik. What a sad existence it is for your berry. Not for me, though, because I can bathe in this shit if I wanted to. Sugar contents be damned. But anyways, after that, we got the glorious follow-up to the delicious chocolate Nesquik, and that, of course, is the pure strawberry-flavored one.
This is an immediate S tier, and we all know that strawberries dominate all of the Joe Dogs tier lists. It's no secret, but I would in fact get on all fours and bark like a dog if someone were to wave a strawberry Nesquik in front of me. Joe, what would you bark more for? This Nesquik flavor or a used Margot Robbie shoe after she got done running a marathon? Come on, man, you think I'm some sort of weirdo or something? Of course I'm picking the shoe. What kind of oddball would say otherwise? Anyways, after that stupid question, we got a, this Snickers drink, and this is actually made by Nesquik as well. And let me tell you all right now that this is an automatic S tier as well. I love Snickers. And if you add that to anything, I will most certainly love it. Like just a bit ago, I was eating some Snickers ice cream that I just bought. And it's this amazing chocolate ice cream with bits of Snickers all throughout it. And it is absolutely delicious. Snickers lovers rejoice because this shit do indeed fucking bang. And uh, Joe, if I am not mistaken, they also have a Twix flavor as well, right? What would you rate that? Well, I like Twix more than I like Snickers, so it would also go in S tier. We probably should have added that drink in before doing the list. But hey, what can we do? We're not the editor, so it's not our fault. If anything, we should be applauded for working in these harsh conditions. Joe, you were literally napping earlier. What do you mean by harsh working conditions? Way to be a snitch, Donald. Anyways, we are on our last entry on this list, and I want to let you all know that this is a sore topic for me because I thought this Fruit Loops drink was going to be amazing. I really did. But it is quite the opposite. I don't think I have ever tried a lazier drink than this one because it is literally milk that has been left to marinate with Fruit Loop cereal. And while that might be amazing with cinnamon toast crunch or even frosted flakes, this drink had so much potential, but I am placing it in B tier only because it doesn't taste as ass as the protein drinks. Uh... I'm sorry I gave it such harsh words, but those are my honest to God feelings. No one please buy this and don't mention this drink in front of me again because it is a touchy subject for me. Joe, it's okay. We don't have to keep going because the video is over. Hey, Joe, you want to know what is a real touchy subject? What is that, Donald? Well, you see, Joe, for pedophiles, children are always a matter of a touchy subject. What is going on, gang? We are back with a very cool tier list, in my opinion, because we have ourselves a T tier list. And this time around, I am making it because we all know how Donald feels about British people. And then you have Joe over here who only consumes milk products. And if he doesn't do that, he'll instead drink some weird and nasty stuff. Okay, first of all, there's nothing weird and nasty about milk. And what is weird and nasty about Gatorade and soda? Because guess what? The Joe dog freaking loves his Gatorade and sodas alongside his milk. And sometimes I drink them all at the same time. I alternate between sips and let me tell you that it brews a yummy potion in my tummy. Okay, let me stop you there, Joe, because you making a cauldron of disgusting liquids in your stomach is absolutely asinine. It probably looks like a witch's cauldron in there, but there's nothing wrong with Gatorade, but it's the way you try to normalize hot dog water Gatorade that gets everyone messed up. And what do you mean, Barack? I personally love British people, and I will give beans on toast a try because that honestly looks like it bangs. Sure, they have a classist society. You will never be upper class unless you're born into it. They're also pessimistic, sarcastic, and just generally have a cynical outlook on life. Just look at Gordon Ramsay and how much he hates absolutely everyone, and it feels like he dreads being kind. See us Americans at a tailgate for a football game. I can ask a dude to hammer a beer in front of me just for fun, and he will do it while exclaiming a victory belch. But if I were to do something similar and give someone a drink in a British bar, He'd look at me funny and call me a bell end and tell me to bloody piss off. But their bangers and mash does look quite exquisite and I respect them for their food because people honestly don't give the Brits enough credit for their cuisine. I personally think British people are cool. Have you guys ever seen the in-betweeners or peep show? I love those two British comedies and I agree that their food does indeed look banging. Okay, it is clearly shown that you two are unfit for this tier list. And again, Brits are not the only tea drinkers in the world. We got some Asian countries that mess with tea heavily, and why can't us Americans enjoy tea as well? Unless you douse my shit in sugar and basically turn it into juice, I'm afraid I will not be drinking tea. Who the hell wants a bitter drink? Well, I do, and before you guys say anything, it is not because Michelle forces me to drink unsweetened drinks. I just so happen to enjoy tea. It's totally because of Michelle. Oh, 100%. Whatever, let's go ahead and get started with this list because up first we got two back-to-back -back D tiers in my opinion, and that is both the pure tea and the herbal rooibos taste like absolute dog water. I cannot stand the taste of pure tea because it just tastes earthy like wild mushrooms and smells like the forest. 
And if I want a nice tea in the morning to enjoy alongside some avocado toast, this is simply not it. And then you got the herbal rooibos tasting like smoky, sweet, woody, grassy, vanilla, floral. Like none of that sounds appetizing to me in the slightest and makes me feel like I might as well make some tea out of mulch. Isn't that simply how all tea tastes like? Like how the hell can you taste the difference between that and something like Earl Grey tea? Enough with the trolling Donald because you know damn well you can taste the difference. Even if you add your boatload of honey to the teas, you'd be able to feel the difference in flavor. Do you know what type of tea I'm interested in? You know how cocaine comes from a plant? Couldn't you make some cocaine tea with those plants? Now that sounds like an absolute banger of a tea. Joe, do not promote the use of that on our channel. Like, I know you made a tier list revolving around substances, but I don't want to hear it on my tea tier list. I don't even know if that will do anything because I'm not sure about the whole process behind making that. Why don't you go ask Hunter about that instead? Anyways, after those two bad ones, we got some herbal chamomile, and this is an honest-to-God S tier. I always have some when I'm sick, and this is like a miracle tea because it can help with loads of things like inflammation, immune system support, stomach issues, and a whole lot more. The flavor of chamomile is great, too, which only adds more support for it being an S tier. Why don't you just go to a damn doctor if you feel sick at all? Dude, I refuse to pay a ton of money to get checked at because my stomach happens to hurt a ton that day. It's like this one time I dislocated a finger and someone near me threatened to call the ambulance on me and I just popped that sucker back in because I refuse to pay over a grand just to have a ride to the hospital. I can be red screened and on my last goddamn legs and still would rather drive to the hospital myself if I need to. I don't know about that one. Motherfucker like me just pays for it because I can, they say more money, more problems. But as a matter of fact, it is quite the opposite. Oh, I'm sure someone like you does not have to worry about the hospital bills. I just sleep off whatever ailment I have. It seems to work out pretty well in my opinion. And of course, there is Joe's dumb comment. Anyways, after that, we got black Earl Grey tea, and this is yet another S tier in my book. The flavor profiles on this are absolutely immaculate, and this with a nice breakfast is a banger in my books. It's a great way to start off your morning and is better than coffee, in my opinion, because it prevents that coffee breath that a lot of people have in the morning. Tell me about it. Whenever Joe says hi to me in the morning, that shit is like the Sunday breath from SpongeBob. It is so bad that I can actually see the stink clouds emitting from his mouth. Well, you don't have to go that far. I get it's a joke, but that's a bit excessive. I have feelings too, guys. No, Joe, he is being for real. And having smelled your breath in the morning before, I can definitely assure you that I'd rather smell the inside of an overweight person's skid mark tidy whiteys after they just had the most grueling workout session of their life than smell your breath after waking up. Okay, ow, this is noted. I'll up the teeth brushing to once a week from now on. God help us all. Anyways, after that, we got English breakfast tea, and this is also a certified banger, but before we have all of British audience jump for joy at this, I want to give them the harsh reality that I do indeed like it, but I feel like this only merits an A tier. You can all argue in the comments, but I stand firm on this decision. Yeah, here in America, the only tea we like is a good old cup of freedom. Okay, that's not it either, but I appreciate your enthusiasm on my decision, Donald. After that, we got some herbal hibiscus, and this has got some flavor packing in it. I know this helps with its antioxidants and reduces blood pressure. But I'm talking about the flavor alone, and hibiscus is underrated as hell. Have you guys ever tried hibiscus drink, too? Like, I go to my taco place, and they got this red punch. And apparently, it is hibiscus. And that is when I open my eyes to how yummy this plant can be and is an absolute A tier in my book. I have tried that actually. I am a connoisseur of Mexican delights and they got it right with all the sugar they put in those drinks. Okay, well it doesn't need that much sugar to be good, but whatever. After that we got yet another banger and that is jasmine tea because I have this deliciousness going straight into S tier. Any tea lover will tell you that jasmine tea is one of their favorites and if they say otherwise, then they are not real tea lovers. Well, I frankly don't really like jasmine tea. Well, that's because you're not a tea lover, Joe. You're a kitty lover. Okay, that's enough with those type of jokes. You two cracked two jokes like that in our Nesquik tier list, and I was not a fan of those jokes. Okay, I'll change the joke style here. How about this one? What did one lesbian vampire say to the other? Hmm, I don't know. What did they say, Donald? See you next month. Okay, that one is kind of funny, but still gross as hell. Moving on past that, we got some black lapsang, and this one is pretty all right. 
I don't have a super strong opinion on it, but I still think it merits a B tier. The same cannot be said about black chai because I have that going into S tier, and I may as well rank our next one too because I got green matcha also going into S tier. These two are some absolute bangers. I'm sorry, but every time I hear matcha, I think of Japanese people, and whenever I think of that, I think of that one South Park episode where they have the Japanese and Chinese guy in the show do an assembly for the school. Frail, you're gonna have to roll that clip because the behind the scenes for that episode was absolutely amazing. Today we have a special assembly, okay, to learn about, we're gonna learn about the diversity of Asian people. This part okay, coming up is hilarious. Mr. Liu Kim and Mr. Junichi Nakayama. Jesus Christ. Did you know that China and Japan are actually a different countries? Oh, really? Wow, that is so stupidly offensive. I cannot put into words how much that probably offended people. Oh, really? God damn it, Joe. Now you're forever clipped saying that. Anyways, up next we got some oolong tea. And yet again, this is another W in my book because I am a fan of some good oolong tea. I'm thinking an A tier is in order for this one. And unfortunately for us, I think this is the last bit of good tea we'll have because everything I see right now that's left on the list are kind of some stinkers. Now, as a non-tea drinker, I want to know what the hell is the difference between these last set of teas and the ones you had going before it? Well, really, it doesn't start till after Orange Pico because I have that going into B tier. And actually, uh, I have the green sencha going there with it. I really am just hating on the white tea, to be honest. And it still is better than the things in D tier. So it really is just a pretty mid T. And I have that going into C tier. To be honest, I just can't get over the fact that we played that clip in our video. Don't worry, Barack, I'll end it off with a tried and true Joe dog banger of a joke that won't offend anyone. Him, last Christmas we bought a fake Christmas tree and the guy behind the counter said, are you gonna put it up yourself? And I said, don't be disgusting. I'm gonna put it in the living room, not up myself. Yeah, uh, I think I like the offensive jokes more. What is going on, gang? We are back with another tier list, and this time around, the Don has full control over this great list. And what we have here today for you all is a drinks tier list. And we aren't talking about alcohol, but rather we are gonna discuss various liquids. I like the way that sounds. Various liquids just makes me shake with happiness. I don't think he's gonna talk about what you wanna talk about, you weirdo. Joe, I can assure you that it will not be what you're thinking about. I mean, look at the goddamn list. It looks very normal to me. Oh, this is a big disappointment for the Joe dog. If it's making you upset, then this list was an even better idea than what I previously thought. Anyways, up first, we got the absolute best sports drink to ever exist, and that, of course, is Gatorade. Some nice and tasty Gatorade hits hard as hell after you're done doing some hard work. If they had this in the medieval ages when we had people doing the most grueling task, like pushing a sawmill by hand or tending to crops and fields of wheat without a break, Imagine handing one of those dudes a Gatorade. I mean, they'd probably have an aneurysm from the amount of flavor, but if they don't succumb to that, then they have the most wonderful electrolyte recovering drink. And I say all this to basically just say that this is a bona fide S tier. That was an unnecessarily long-winded way of basically saying that you enjoy Gatorade. There was no other way to get that point across. Me saying that I will handstand twerk on a wall for some Gatorade just isn't enough. I'm gonna to have to come up with another analogy for this next one because I have lemon-lime sodas going into S tier. Like the best example of how good this can be is some McDonald's Sprite. I swear they make that stuff crunchier than their fries. What do you even mean by crunchy? How the hell is a drink crunchy? You know exactly what I mean, don't act dumb. That stuff has like a times two multiplier for its carbonation. I take one sip and immediately feel like I'm being dragged to the shadow realm to atone for my past sins. I can't even imagine what would happen if Joe drinks it. He'd probably succumb from madness and start talking normally for once. I'm scared of super carbonated drinks. I like soda, but I let them get a little flat so it feels like I'm drinking juice. But if it's super carbonated no matter what, then I'll stick to my chocolate and strawberry milk. What you just said was basically a cardinal sin. Like, I don't care if you're not religious, Joe, but you need to confess somewhere. It can be a pastor or a nun. Heck, go confess your sins to the DMV people because someone needs to help you. Oh, don't you worry, I have a guy for that. 
Frail roll the clip so that all the viewers can get non-consensually cleansed of their sins. I absolve you of your sins. You have been forgiven. What the fuck was that? Wait, why the fuck is there a censor on my cuss words? F what the hell is going on here? And why isn't hell bleeped? See, that word isn't bleeped to remind everyone that hell is a very real place and we all would have been going if it weren't for my guy. I call him up when I've done sin too much. He's like Lester from GTA 5 for me. Like this one time I got a five star sin wanted level after I had some fun in the playground and immediately had to call my man in order to get forgiven. That is not okay at all. Jesus Christ, let's please not get too sidetracked in this video. We are going off the fucking rails. Oh man, not me too. I can't even say fuck either. Just give it a few minutes. It works like a protection spell in a video game. The cleansing was too recent and will still be protecting us. Just like how that restraining order is protecting that one pesky kid I couldn't get to. Wait, what? Nothing. Carry on with this wonderful list, you handsome young man. Joe, stop. You're embarrassing me. I mean, it's true, and I can't stop people from speaking the truth, but still, let's go back to the list, as Barry said, and continue on. Huh, we got some fruit punch, and honestly, sometimes these things are hit or miss, but I like them enough to merit an A tier, but we got a banger up next, because up next, we got another S tier, and that, of course, is water. We, of course, have made a water tier list, so our opinion is that we all love water, even if Joe likes Dasani, which, if you ask me, that's also another sin. Should I call my guy again? God, please, no. Atoning for my sins makes me feel like too good of a person, and quite frankly, I'd rather not feel good about myself. Let's just go on with the list. And we got coffee, and while it isn't awful, in the grand scheme of things, I'd rather not have it and think it goes in C tier. I'm sure Barack would disagree, though. Nah, I'm actually in agreement. I prefer tea, but coffee isn't bad either. I just hate that it stains your teeth and makes your breath smell. Who cares? I drink coffee for fun, and no one has complained about my breath. Joe, that is quite literally what we've been complaining about every other week. And if it isn't that we constantly complain about your foul body odor, you raise your hands and I swear the stench can kill any plant growth around it. Anyways, after that, we got some lemonade and what can I even say about this? It's a pretty basic drink, but just because it's basic doesn't mean that it's bad. I quite enjoy lemonade and we'll put it in A tier. I don't think I have to make much of a comment on that. After that, we do have milk, and I'm sorry, Joe, but this is going into B tier. I know you made that whole list on milk, but the Don is not a huge connoisseur of milk. Like, I'll definitely have it with some Oreos or any type of pastry at all, but I won't be drinking milk by itself unless it's strawberry or chocolate milk. I'll let that opinion slide for now because not everyone can stand up and take the title as a milkman like old Joe over here can. I can't have enough milk in my life, especially mommy's milkers. Okay, you've talked enough. Donald, please continue with the list. Are you sure we uh, can't hear him out further and allow him to elaborate on what he said? No, we cannot. Buzzkill Barry is back at it again, whatever. And as we go, rank the next thing on our list. We have energy drinks, and I guess this is all energy drinks, but I will have to give this an S tier. I personally am a big fan of rice recently and love the fact that they have no sugar in them, but I will more than happily sell my soul and swap brands if we were to get sponsored. No shilling on the video. Donald, you should know better. I really don't know better, that's the thing. Oh, by the way, everyone become a Frail channel member to unlock exclusive emotes from this channel and just be a cool guy overall. But enough of that because I'm really gonna upset you here, Barack. That was actually a W plug, but I swear if you say something dumb regarding this next entry. You're already angry. I am so sorry, Barry, but I don't think grape juice is that good. It's still a B tier, but please don't call up your gang and hurt me. How many times have you done this gag? It's been at least like four times off the top of my head and it doesn't hit a single time. Nah, someone out there is definitely laughing. And if you are laughing right now, precious viewer, just know that the Don appreciates you. I laughed at your joke, Donald. Do you appreciate me? No, I really don't. And you know how they say you don't appreciate something until it's gone? Well, it's the opposite for you, Joe, because I am reminded about how much fun life is whenever I am not around you. Yeah, sure you do, Donald. I'm sure the viewers totally don't remember our Resident Evil video where you basically told me that you loved me. Stop bringing up established lore, Joe. And I only did that because you literally leave me voicemails of you crying and it's like sitting with the kid who is all alone in lunch. It's literally charity work, but whatever. Up next, we got iced tea, which is a certified banger that is going into A tier. If you would have combined the lemonade and iced tea to make an Arnold Palmer, then that would have been a certified S tier. Unfortunately for us, we got the worst drink on this list, and that, of course, is sparkling water. 
Why would anyone willingly drink this slop? It quite literally ruins water for me and is going into D tier. Well, some flavored sparkling water is delicious and some people like the carbonation in the drink and I am actually one of them. In fact, did you know that drinking carbonated water is just as hydrating as drinking regular water? It has also been shown to increase feelings of fullness and may aid in constipation and improve digestion. So drinking that would actually help with weight loss and you can finally start cutting Donald instead of being in a forever bulk. I'd rather munch on shards of glass and drink pure lemon juice for an entire day than drink carbonated hot ass. Wait, why can I say ass? Well, it's an animal. You're so silly, Donald. I hate you so much. Anyways, after that, we got a... Uh, hold on, we actually have an unprecedented thing because we have back-to-back-to-back-to-back S-tier rankings. I have citrus soda going there, normal colas, chocolate milk, and root beer all going up there. I think citrus soda is pretty explainable because who the hell doesn't like squirt? Personally, I like both types of squirt if you catch my drift. Oh, are there multiple flavors of squirt? Probably, but I'm not talking about the soda. Anyways, I also love normal colas. I mean, I am the president who installed the Diet Coke button, so no explanation is needed again. And chocolate milk is another banger. We've made milkshake tier lists, a milk tier list, and a freaking Nesquik tier list. We love chocolate milk here. And root beer is explainable too. If you like colas, then you're probably gonna love root beer too. I know I do. Valid reasonings for all of those, but I don't know if cola and root beer lovers have the same taste. Yeah, I just said that, but I frankly don't know if that's true. Either way, it stays in S tier. And up next, we got apple juice, and this is going into B tier alongside grape juice because I do like juice, but it's a scam, America. It has just as much sugar as soda sometimes. So why not just drink soda instead? I don't think that's the message you should be sending across to all of our viewers. You're right, what is wrong with me? Do not drink soda or juice unless it is the diet version. Diet drinks reign supreme everyone, but an occasional non-diet drink won't hurt anyone, unless you're diabetic, in which case it will most definitely hurt you and possibly get you a leg amputation. Anyways, after that, we got Powerade, and this is like Gatorade's little brother with Down syndrome. Like, he's cool, but he's no Gatorade, so I think a B tier is in order for this one. What if he's a Down syndrome kid with cool ass dance moves? I don't know what you want me to say to that. Like, I guess that'd be dope as hell but I don't know what you want as a response from me. That's like asking me if I'd like it if my dog can do a backflip. Like it would be a cool party trick, but what the hell does that do for me? Anyways, following that, we got orange juice, and that is a certified A tier because I can most definitely understand the appeal to a glass of OJ in the morning alongside your eggs and French toast. Then we might have a controversial entry here, but I actually have orange soda going into B tier. Like, I enjoy it, don't get me wrong, but like, I am not gonna place this in the upper echelon of drinks. Because when do you guys normally drink orange soda? The only time I do it is when there's no other drinks I want at a fast food place, so I go with the orange Fanta instead. Ooh, I love fast food. Why haven't we done a fast food tier list? Wait, we haven't done that yet? Yeah, I just checked the channel and uh, we actually haven't. Huh, would you look at that? We've done limited time fast food and fast food fries, fast food nuggets, but no fast food tier list. Well, Frail, add that onto our to-do list. Yeah, I will of course be doing that one, but anyways, we lastly have tea, and even though Barack loves this stuff and ranked them in his tier list, I personally am not that huge of a fan, but I'll still place it into C tier alongside the coffee. And that is the list wrapped up, man. It feels pretty good, I wonder though, can we still not cuss? Let me try. Huh, you still can't. Fuck!